Educational Psychology 710 Survey Research Methods Qualtrics Series Part 3 Survey Distribution and Data Analysis Here are the objectives for this presentation. Here are the various sections of the presentation. As a brief summary, we've covered creating a Qualtrics account and project, developing instrument items, including descriptive, Likert type, and demographic items, item responses, survey design, and previewing the survey. Now we can disseminate the survey to our participants. From the survey module, select the distributions tab. As you can see, there are a few options. I recommend the get a single reusable link option. Qualtrics will generate a customized link that you can copy and paste and share with participants. As the page states, this is a reusable link that can be embedded into emails. There are many options for distribution that extend beyond the scope of this presentation. Please feel free to explore these additional options as time permits. We are entering the final portion of this presentation, Data and Analysis. I am now in my personal Qualtrics account viewing an expert panel athletic performance metric I put together with the help of Dr. Corkill in preparation for my dissertation study. Note that you can get to any instrument in your library by selecting the My Projects link. I'm using this metric as an example so you can see what the data and analysis look like versus working with the demonstration instrument we just created that doesn't have any responses with the exception of our trial response when we were in the survey preview mode. First select the data and analysis module. I would like to point out some important information on this page. Recorded responses are closed and recorded in your data set. Responses in progress indicate responses that have been started but not submitted or closed. In this section you can also delete completed responses. In our last example, you would want to select and delete the test survey we submitted during the survey preview portion of the presentation. Select the Export Data button from the Export and Import drop-down. From this screen, choose the Export Data with Legacy Format option. Now we can choose a file format. The first option, CSV, provides an Excel-compatible file. Select Download. Your file will begin to download automatically. You can also select the Download button. Retrieve the document from the Downloads file on your computer. Once you retrieve the file from your computer downloads, you will have an Excel document with your Qualtrics data that you can now interpret, code, and upload into SPSS. I've included a screenshot of the CSV download that captures the Qualtrics data for the Expert Panel Athletic Performance metric. I'd like to show you a second option for downloading data. From the Data and Analysis module that we were previously working out of, again select the Export Data button from the Export and Import drop-down. This time, we will choose the SPSS option to download and analyze the data directly into SPSS. Select Download. Your second file, this time the SPSS version, will begin to download automatically. You can also select the Download button directly. Retrieve the document from the Downloads file on your computer. From the Downloads menu, Open your SPSS file on a computer with the compatible IBM SPSS statistics package. I've included a screenshot of the SPSS download that captures data for the Expert Panel Athletic Performance metric in Data View. In Data View, we can see each row as a source of data and each column as a variable. This is the screenshot of the same data in Variable View. Use the Variable View tab to define or change the names and other properties of each variable in the data set. Once you've configured your data set in SPSS, you can begin the process of analyzing your pilot scale data and final instrument. 
The UNLV Qualtrics page provides various support in the forms of further instruction, contact information, and frequently asked questions. In summary, we've covered preparing an instrument for distribution, constructing a link for your instrument, and converting survey responses to analyzable data files. This concludes Part 3 of the three-part Qualtrics series, Survey Distribution and Data Analysis.